Hey YouTube, it's Anthony again, uh, coming back at you with another episode of Here in My Office. Um, I decided to make a video because uh, something happened today that I haven't talked about because I thought it was kind of far-fetched or a long shot. Um, as you know, I'm working as a real estate agent uh, and I'm a Zillow Premier agent and I have... Um, uh, you know, typically when it was busy, I would get two, three, maybe even four calls a day, Monday through Sunday, and, uh, be following up on those. They were buyers and I would be being the buyer's agent and get them to sign the buyer agent ten tenancy agreement and, uh, the consumer notice and, um, uh, showing the properties. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> As you know, I started real estate. I, I became licensed in about August and didn't get set up fully until November with, with United. Being set up fully, meaning having all the IT resources I need and having everything set up so that I could, you know, work the contracts and send them through DocuSign and get them signed off by the, the, the buyers and everything. Uh, so I didn't really start in earnest until October. So I went October, November, December, January. So we're in month four of having a real estate license. Um, and I haven't made any money yet. And I know it's not unusual. I read that most times it takes six months to start making any money as a real estate agent. Well, we're coming up on that. You know, we're going to be getting there. And um, at the same time, you know, I still have 13 years of audit experience. And I kind of left my last position in not the greatest shape. And I've, I've kind of wanted to avenge myself and get back into the get back into the saddle, get back into audit, get back into business at a large company and, uh, and thrive in that manner. So I applied to a, a company called Crow Horwath. They just call themselves Crow now. They're a, they're a um, consultancy firm. They're like the big four. They're like Ernst & Young and Price Waterhouse and KPMG. They're, they're, they're an auditing firm. And um, I applied to them because they said they had a 100% remote position available. Now, I've passed on jobs in the past because they were located in different cities. And as you know, I just moved to Philadelphia. So I've been in Philadelphia for a year now and I don't wanna change cities again for a job that I don't know if I'm gonna like. So I found this job at Crow and um, I applied to it. HR got back to me and um, I uh, interviewed with HR and it was really simple. And they, she liked, she liked what she heard, and she said she passed me up to a manager. So she passed me up to a manager, and I had my interview with him, and that was like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And uh, after that interview, I didn't hear anything. So, I was thinking, well, they'll probably just pass on me, and I probably won't hear anything, or I'll get a rejection letter. But uh, today, I got a message saying, I got an email saying they really liked me in the interview and they want to have me talk to a partner. So I, of course, said, now I'm going to, I'm going to California, see my friend uh, next week. So I told her, I said, I can meet Monday, anytime you pick it. And she got back to me and she said, Monday works, she'll come back with me with a, with a, with a more solid time. I have this one meeting that could mean an offer. And when we talked about compensation, you know, I told her I was making like 150 without without a bonus. So like 200 all in. And she said they could do that. So I said, OK, well, that's fantastic because <clears throat> ever since I left Wells, I've had a, you know, I'm having trouble making anything in real estate. So this, the thought of getting back to where I was 
and having that guaranteed paycheck. Um, now's the time, guys. So uh, I'm gonna take it. So, um, so that's that's what's been going on. Haven't heard anything from my lawsuit. Um, and to be frank with you, this job potential position is also at a time where I've been draining my bank account for the last year now and it's getting low not too low but like six months left low so do I really want to possibly run out of money trying to do real estate when I don't have any proven business experience in it yet when you know I haven't been through any real transactions it's like hard to believe that all of a sudden I'm gonna make enough money to make rent so I I feel like this position at Crow could be um could really be a lifesaver for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything I can to to uh perform well in this interview I know I gotta prepare myself uh I'm a little rusty with interviewing you know if you've been if you've been around this channel for a long time you know that I used to interview every week have multiple interviews every week and that went on for a year and a half and I chronicled the whole thing on this YouTube channel so if you're interested in that you know you could check out the old videos but uh I'm not in that form right now but I'm still using the same notes it worked for me at Wells Fargo. I don't see why it can't work for me elsewhere. So I'm just going with that. Uh, it's a Zoom call. Um, it can be a video. So it makes it a little more difficult to refer to your notes. But I'll still have it in front of me. And um, just hope hope I like this guy and hope it works out. Because uh, it could really be a good shot for me. Uh, but what was I saying about the lawsuit? I haven't heard anything. Um... Uh, I need to touch base with my attorney and see what's going on. Uh, we're still in depositions. And uh, it's a new year. So, you know, my goal was to settle on the lawsuit this year. But to be honest with you, uh, if I get this job, then the lawsuit isn't as important. I mean, I can take a longer time with it. And it won't be a problem, but this this September it will be four years, so that's how long this this route has been, and uh, you know, supposed to settle for the maybe around half a million dollars, but you know, whether that's gonna really happen, I don't know, and I can't live my life like that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna base my life on. So I'm basing my life on, I have X amount of dollars and I'm running out. <laughs> so I'm going to be, uh, hopefully I, if I get this offer from Crow, I'm going to take it and I'm going to be working from home. And uh, we're probably, we're going to stay in Philadelphia. My wife has a dog, dog uh, pet sitting business that is thriving here. And um, we like living here. And we like the seasons. You know, I got my hat on because it's cold out. And, um, yeah. So, so that's what's going on, guys. This is kind of a long video. So, if you watch to the end, thank you. And uh, please consider subscribing. And stay abreast of what's going on with Crow. And if I get this job. And if everything changes. Or something happens in the real estate space you know that's still a possibility so um uh, stay tuned and uh more to come so thanks for watching guys peace